Hey, what's up guys? My name's Ollie Stone. I'm the mechanic for Justin Barsha here. Hey guys, I'm Justin Shanty. Today I'm here with Cameron Camera. Hey guys, I'm Justin Shanty. I work for Monster Energy Kawasaki for Adamson Cirillo, number nine. And uh, today I'm gonna show you how to put on a Renthal ultralight front sprocket. All right, uh, we're down here by the counter shaft. We're gonna put on this uh, Renthal ultralight front sprocket. Um, and I'll take you through the steps of how to disassemble it and uh, a little trick on how to um, not have to break your chain at the master link to put the sprocket on. So there's this, this folded washer here. Um, we're gonna have to uh, flatten that back out. It's uh, just so the nut doesn't come loose. It comes from the production line like that. So I'll bend this out and then we'll uh, bust off this nut and then we'll get that rear axle loose so we can loosen that chain up. Just a chisel or a punch of some sort to try and get the, the washer flattened out. Make sure you have your safety glasses on. All right, so a little trick um, to uh, get the front sprocket loose without like having an impact or you know out in the track or something you want to chase some gear. Just uh, you can you can either uh, put the bike in gear to help you as well, but uh, just put your foot on the rear brake and you can kind of lean over and you can uh, get it loosened up this way. There we go. That's just regular uh, right-handed thread, so um, on the cowie. So we'll get this off of there, pull that washer off. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this axle loose. I'm gonna take the nut off. There's a washer and a axle block. Put that aside. And then to get the extra room for the chain to get the sprocket off, I'm gonna knock the axle out. Make sure the axle blocks are, or the axle block on this side is, is uh, clearing the chain adjuster. And that allows me to get the extra slack there in the chain. So from there, we can pull this off. You can work that sprocket out like this. And then you can install your new ultralight Renthal sprocket the reverse way. So we'll replace uh, the washer here. I'm just gonna hand tighten that for now. We know we have to torque it here in a minute. Uh, I'm gonna now put the chain, uh, put the tension back in the chain. So you're just gonna do reverse. You're gonna put the block back in, line the axle up. And then you're gonna re-tighten the rear axle nut. So to, to pull the slack out of the chain, um, you can do like a wad of paper in here. You don't want to mess up your sprocket. So I see a lot of people throw a wrench in there. Uh, when you put the, the tension um, back on the, the sprocket, it pulls the wheel forward, but it also makes these little indents in the aluminum sprocket. So I use something soft um, uh, to kind of take the, the slack out of it. So then we'll just torque this rear axle. All right, uh, I'm gonna put this back in gear and I'm also gonna hold the brake again. We're gonna torque this uh, front sprocket nut. Um, for us, we, we torque it at 90 Newton meters. On any of the different bikes, just check the owner's manual, see what they uh, recommend and what is uh, proper for your motorcycle. All right, so I'm gonna go to that same spot that, uh, we, that the, it was bent before we changed the sprocket. So, uh, Nice flat punch will work. Get it all squared up. You just want to have it even uh, on the, uh, it's a little boogered up there because it was already bent, but just on the flat, you know, where it was bent. And then we can turn it uh, 180 and do a fresh one here if you feel more comfortable. That's all peened over. That's great. And then we can put the chain guard back on. The aluminum bit actually has to go underneath this slave cylinder and it lines up flat against the case. And then, sorry, yeah, you can bring this in. Like 
All right, turn these down. These are just plastic, so don't have to get too crazy with these. Just want them snug. All right, there you have it. That's a uh, proper way to install a front Renthal Ultralight Sprocket on your KX450SR.